All right, lift yeah. this. Lift this. <laughs> your, your side's a little heavier. Yeah. Yeah. He's, He's got a badonkadonk. Yeah, so. uh, a lot of muscle going on. A lot of muscle going on on this side. Yeah. Tension series. Uh, we're going to show them how to do a tension overhead press. This is probably one of my favorites out of all of the ones that we're doing in this series right now because it was one of the ones that made the biggest difference for me. So. Well, you see a lot of guys, especially the muscle builders, right? Bodybuilders, physique. Um, who they, they do the shoulder presses and they kind of stop short at the top. Right. You see these little pumping movements. So they're missing that top, that top loaded strength, that, that, that position there. And so yeah. this will help give you more of that. And you're missing, let me tell you something right here. That very top of the position of, of a shoulder press, if you've got good tension, really works on developing the shoulders. Well, the uh, shoulders to were level. meant to go all the way there. Yeah. Well, Bottom line, they were meant to go there. <laughs> We've done this before with kettlebells and dumbbells, but with a barbell, it's really gonna show all the little discrepancies, all the wrist and positions where I'm not as supported. So this is why if I wanna take this step by step and figure out my starting position with the wrists, now I'm getting a nice firm grip and I'm Notice kind his of- his wrists are right, are right above his elbows. And now I'm retracted and I'm depressed with my shoulders. So I could start in this position, I wanna get all the way to full extension Driving it up, but now I'm here's, supported. Here's the key. So you'll notice his hands, elbows, shoulders, behind his ears, aligned with his hips and his heels. So this is why I like this movement. Now Justin is focused while he's pressed over and keeping this tension, he's also got his shoulders pulled back. And, and, I, and he's dropping them a little bit. He's got them packed a little bit so they're not shrugged up towards his ears. So he's kind of squeezing down while pushing up, squeezing the bar. There's a whole line of tension going this way into the bar with both arms. Also, don't forget, ground, you want to ground your feet, stay tense in your legs, stay tense in your core. Attention movement, you want to activate the entire body. So he's like a stiff board right now. And he's got nice, nice lines. It's actually much more difficult than it looks. It's only 45 pounds, but you can hear Justin grunting over there. Yeah, you, oh. can, really, you can really squeeze the bar and get uh, maximal effort out of this, more tension than you would just uh, passively sort of trying to press my way up. Now, when you're this. doing this for tension, Justin, when you get to the full extension, are you pressing out or in on the bar or are you just squeezing on the bar? I'm squeezing and I'm pulling out just a little bit. Okay. I, I notice that I get a little bit more uh, connectivity there with my shoulders. So. so a little bit of pulling out. A little bit of pulling out is going to stabilize the shoulder joint. Excellent. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize that overhead tension position, you're going to feel a lot in the shoulders but you're also gonna feel your upper back Oh activate. my God, yeah, well, definitely felt that. that to me, that's the back. area that's the, the big one because everybody is rounded forward and when you do this, it really opens up how bad you are because you're gonna see most people when you go to do this movement, if you actually were to stand in front of a mirror, you're gonna see the bars in front of you. And that's a, that's a signal right there that we really need to work on. Go back to that prone cobra that we did in the earlier tension series and really work on getting those back muscles to fire and prime and get activated so when you overhead press, that bar's back behind And remember, you. you're gonna hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds, bring the bar down, rest, do it again, or you can do it for reps, but it's usually not that many reps. You're looking at like three to five reps is usually what I see. Yeah, control and tension and form. Those are the, that's the idea here more than anything else. That's it, look, we drop a brand new video every single day on this channel, so subscribe to it. Also, 30 days of coaching for free from Mind Pump. All you gotta do is go to mindpumpmedia.com and sign up.